Well, thank y'all so much for joining us today. I'm so excited to be talking to um, the the couple goals that we have here, the amazing Paul and Amy Hauser on I Am Second Day. Thank y'all so much for joining. For sure. Thank you, thank you for having us. Here. You know, we've had a few conversations and y'all are just so humble, so authentic. I mean, it was true, you know, in the, you know, four part series, but just also just in conversations I've had with y'all. And so I just appreciate how honest y'all are and how real y'all are, um, which is so great. I think that's why too, you're your film has resonated so much. Like I've been just pouring over the different comments too that we've had since, you know, the release in early January. And that's, you know, what a lot of people said, like, you know, that they could really feel who y'all were. And um, like even Amy with, you know, how you explained what you did with the wall and, and putting up scripture and pictures and people are doing that now because y'all are sharing that, which is really, really rewarding. And so it's just, I don't know. It's just heartwarming for us to know, like y'all were so vulnerable and trusted us with your story, which we're so appreciative. And, um, and it's just that ripple effect. And so I just want to know too, like what's been y'all's response since releasing the film? I would say, over, you know, so far it's been super positive from my end and people really, they see Amy in a new light too, where like mm -hmm. before they didn't know her, now they're getting to know her. But then yeah. when they watch that video, they're like, wow. I did not know she had that level of spirit and like emotion. commitment. And yeah. Strength. It's, it's really that like I get very amped up and some of my friends, by the way, have looked at me kind of sideways. Like mm. it's not the full story you were giving us back then or kind mm. of be like, like almost like it's hard to look at me and that's, you know, wow. that just means that the, the videos work that the story works. Wow. So I don't mind I don't mind having that reaction if it means it was effective, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. As Paul was talking was that there's a worship song, I forget who sings it, maybe passion, but it's what he's done, what he's done, all the glory and honor to this son. It's like how can we not tell the story of what God's done? Like yeah. we have tasted and seen something so beautiful, a uh, clearly a miracle. Um and it's like it doesn't like our shame is gone as believers. We believe that we, we, there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. So we are walking in that freedom. We're not scared. You know, some people are like, aren't you going to be embarrassed? Aren't you going to, and I'm like, no, like if our story was meant for his glory and that like, we have to share what he's done. It's like the woman at the well, you know, she, she ran and told everyone. And it's like, we have to do that. That's, I want that sense of urgency because there's a broken, hurting world out there that needs Jesus so desperately. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. and it's like some people that walk through this story with me um, and like the prayer warriors, like they were so encouraging, so sweet. And they, you know, I got messages and they were like, I'm reliving this all over again. And God's mm -hmm. encouraged me and my own faithfulness. And I think for the people that were praying for us, like I had a whole team, a community of friends of, from Passion City in Atlanta and in DC and Tallahassee and in Thomasville that were praying for us. I and mean, we had people in Ireland and Canada praying for us. And wow. so for them to watch that video and then to say, we were faithful in prayer and look what God's done with our prayers. Like there, mm -hmm. you know, so it, it's been a beautiful experience for those people that prayed for us. And to like, um, I got a message from somebody that, that said, thank you all so much for sharing your story. Yeah. I have been struggling with addiction and I know that it's hurting my wife and I've decided to get sober now. And it's like, wow. Like, it, like oh. one person getting sober can impact so many other people. A whole family. Yeah. yeah wow. It's really cool getting to hear those, uh, that kind of feedback. I think, I think too, I was just going to say that like, if if somebody asks me like what what was winning an Emmy like my response is <laughs> my response is literally like fifteen seconds long. Mm -hmm. There's nothing not that crazy. You worked really hard to act well. They give you a trophy and you're like cool and you feel special for one night and you feel shiny and the next morning you wake up you're still the same person. But what we're doing with our marriage and with our family and, mm -hmm. and uh, wearing our flaws on our sleeve and talking about how we need God's intercession mm. to help us deal with these things. 
we could we could write two, three, four books about it. So it's like, you know, once once you get in alignment with God too, I think suddenly your life becomes a bit more interesting. Yeah. Not notice I didn't say easier. It becomes interesting. More interesting. <laughs> That's true. The rain still and, comes, doesn't it? <laughs> right, yeah. and and you are going to go from a fifteen second account to a uh, three book account uh, of what your life looks like. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Thank y'all for sharing. I I wrote down, I'm a writer, so taking notes, y'all said, you know, our story is meant for his glory. And I just love that because that's what y'all are doing. You're displaying, you know, that this is just a reflection of what the Lord is doing to impact in your life, which is, you know, the gospel. I am second day. We want to inspire people to action where they're just not viewing our films, but they're doing, meaning we want them to share film share their testimony, their story, or even to give to the ministry. So is there some words of encouragement that you could give our followers today about um, how they can take action? You know, maybe it's sharing their story, something that y'all have even done. Yeah, I think, you know, one of the biggest things that we can do is to take that story that God's entrusted us with and trusted God has given each of us so much. And he, that means that he has entrusted us. Like he trusts us with this story to carry. And mm -hmm. it's almost like a torch. Like you get to be a light mm -hmm. and to shine that light for him and his kingdom. And just to display, I talk about the oaks of righteousness all the time that we get to be his oaks of righteousness. And so mm -hmm. encourage people to share their story. You never know who might need to hear mm -hmm. that one thing that you said. And that might you know, inspire them for the next day. And like, you don't have to have 15,000 followers to do that. Mm -hmm. You can, write, you can write a social media post or you can talk to the grocery store clerk and have a conversation with them and be like, you know what? I've been there. Paul, we were walking through an airport mm -hmm. um, in LAX. We we're going to New York city a couple of weeks ago. And Paul just stopped and said to a man, Hey, you're doing a good job, dad. Um, then a couple hours later, we he, was, he was like struggling getting his, this kid into a, a, a Car seat? stroller. It's in the okay. middle of the airport. You can tell it's stressful. And I just was literally trying to do a drive by compliment to encourage him. Yeah. And mm. the man, and Paul do it for like, it's like, oh, he might recognize me, but he recognized Paul. And he was mm. like, oh my gosh, I'm a big fan of yours. So the guy, a couple hours later, his twin brother, messaged me and said hey thank you so much for your mm. being nice to my brother our father just passed away and his my brother's wife just had a baby so they weren't able to come to the funeral so this was his first time traveling alone and it's like man god drops all these divine appointments in our laps all the wow. time like shit like be encouraging share yeah. your story that would be my my word of advice or encouragement rather not advice is uh Follow the nudge is my yeah. thing. Um, Y'all are getting stories out there and, you know, we never know. We just, I love in the economy of God, we never know. We do one small little thing, like who it could impact, like who shared the gospel with Billy Graham, you know, like who shared the trickle, like just, you never know. Like God can take our small yeah. and multiply it. So yeah. that's what you do. So we and you guys did it for us too. Yeah. Thank you. You took a very hard, um, a very rough, harrowing, at times deeply ugly story, and you made it look good. So thank you to the editors and the marketing team and the yeah. production people and just everybody who um, donated some time and thought and care mm -hmm. into telling our story. We we appreciate you too. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. It's, you know, been 15 years and the stories haven't stopped and man, well, thank y'all so much for your time and your words of encouragement. And I am second day. What a, what a special treat to chat with y'all. And um, yeah. And for everyone else, just go to our I am second.com landing page, watch their film. If you haven't seen it yet, um, comment on social and we'll see y'all later.